Bye guys, see you in Mexico. Hasta luego, amigos. And just like that, it was time to leave U.S. waters and make our way south to Mexico. It's a few hundred miles of sailing, and we'd be crossing the Gulf Stream twice. So nailing the weather window and best route to deal with the strong currents would be crucial. So we decided to do a little planning session. Okay, so we're right here. So this is Florida, the Keys, and then Dry Tortugas. This is Cuba, and we're going down here, Isla Mujeres. It's 280 something miles from here to here. So it's not an incredibly long sail. It's one of the main things we have to really worry about is the current. This is the Gulf Stream that kind of comes up and cooks off this way. Uh, the interesting thing is you can see how it's really defined. It comes up north into the Gulf of Mexico and then it cruises across like this. So mm -hmm. I originally thought the current like just came up like this and took the short route, in which case the best route would be to go like along the edge of it. But after reading the sailing directions in the guides and the books, they say pretty much just take a rum line course straight sort of like this. So not even go up a little bit further north and then get pushed mm -hmm. down? Because yeah. the best way to cross this current is just to get across it as quick as possible. That's 2.2 knots. Some places it's 3 knots. Wow. So you basically just want to get it, get across it as quick as possible, knowing you're going to be set, yeah. you know, this way by the current. But wouldn't you want to go like kind of down here so you don't miss it if you have yep. a different wind, right? So, I mean, there is a little bit of a counter current. I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah. But what people try to do is they try and catch that counter current, so which scary. can put you pretty close to the Cuban coast. And you're supposed to stay like a reasonable distance, like mm -hmm. 20, 25 miles off the Cuban coast since we're not going to Cuba. And the Cuban Navy can be kind of touchy, I've heard, so. And then I'll just pull up the grib file. Uh, and we really want something out of the east or the northeast, anything but the south and the west, right? Which is to what make our lives, right yeah. <laughs> but this kind of northeast sort of starts to come in tomorrow night. Like that'd be like right behind us, yeah, right? We'd be perfectly. flying the, the double downwind sails. Mm -hmm. Good for some sailing. Cute. It's gonna be a good. I'm so looking forward to going to Mexico too. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. This is gonna be a fun day. Bye guys. See you in Mexico. Hasta luego, amigos. You ready to go? Oh yeah, I'm so ready. It's I'm looking race. forward to this. Casa, you ready? Ready. How about them dry tortugas, huh? Oh my god. I'm really gonna miss this place. Yeah. The this was too. my my highlight of the U.S. coast. It was, wasn't it? It was. It's pretty strong words. Oh, I know. I feel a little bit like sad right now. But we're going to Mexico and it's going to be That's awesome. Exciting. The baby narcs love it here too. I know. She was so happy here. Like you can really notice. It was amazing. She just played. Yeah. yeah. But it's time to we move got, on. We got weather. Yeah. Prepare to unfurl. Ready? We're gonna hoist this ballooner up on starboard side, creating a giant wind scoop, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna be up here guiding the bolt rope up through the foil mm -hmm. on the jib, and then you're gonna be cranking it up with the like, like hoisting and then yeah. cranking when you need to. Alright, let's hold it right there. Let's set the uh, the lock tension now. Put the hoist a little bit.
The waves in these waters are notorious for being confused, and instead of lining up nicely, they seem to come at you from all directions and push you every which way, sort of like a washing machine, which can make for an uncomfortable boat motion. <laughs> I heard it has something to do with the deep water currents meeting the shallow waters of the Florida Keys, which often oppose the prevailing winds and create choppy, unorganized seas. Pretty big waves out here. We've got both the downwind poles out. Looking pretty good. What are we doing? Like so, six yeah. knots. Yeah, six knots. I find like when we're when we're really deep angles, it's nice to have both bed sails out because mm -hmm. then we can cruise at like 30 degrees to either side of dead down. And it gets kind of rolly, but we go fast. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, poor baby. Oh, nuts. Okay. Oh, poor nuts. She lost her breakfast, huh? Twice. Two well, times? Three times. Oh, baby nugs, I'm so sorry. I know, it's just not feeling very well. We're going dead downwind and it's a little rolly right now. But we got both sails up and they're flying beautifully. So it stabilized the boat a little bit. Nice job getting, helping me get the sail up. Yeah, we looks, did it. Looks good, it huh? It looks so cool. It creates cool. such like a massive scoop. Just like the symmetry of it, like seeing it yeah. right down the boat. And we're getting so good cool. speed. Mid sevens and 15 knots of wind. Calico Skies, Calico Skies, this is Delos. Delos. How you guys doing? Just cruising along. Nugget had a bit of a puke, but we're doing good. No, poor Nugget. <laughs> Wasn't a bullet on you or Kaza? I hope not. <laughs> yes. On Kaza and all over the cockpit. Oh. A poor Nugget. That sucks. You guys are holding up all right? Pretty good. A little rolly from these waves, right? Like they're pretty steep and unorganized, but uh, speeds are good. We're pretty comfortable with two head sails. Um, yeah, I think I was hoping to catch you guys and film you, but I think you're pulling away from us now and you got that other sail up. Tell them we're, we're going to keep up just enough sail to stay slightly in front of them. We'll keep up just enough sail to stay slightly ahead of you. Oh, I know that's how it goes, <laughs> and there might even be a little bump of diesel if it comes to it, I'm sure. I'll never catch you. <laughs> <laughs> got that right. <laughs> You'll have a nice view of Delos's rear end. <laughs> I'm not gonna calm down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you'd like to keep them coming, head on over to svdellas.com forward slash beer. Send us a little bit of love. Cheers, guys. Cheers to you. Have a good one. <laughs> oh. oh, geez, I lost. <laughs> 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 that last one. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. Oh, look at the sea temperature. Whoa, it's Boom. Nice. Let's check it out. We've just started hitting the Gulf Stream. So you can see the rise in temperature that's starting to happen, like over the last 15 minutes or so. It's probably, we're just entering the edge now. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to start getting nailed. Yes, yeah, so we're going to kind of drift the other way. We're going to get right? pushed down and we're going to slow down. Mm -hmm. Look at that, 27.4 degrees now. Like in the last. 10 minutes really it jumped hugely 27.5 so look at our course as well like we were just cruising this way and then as soon as we started hitting that current it's like it started pulling us south okay well we're in it now you know what else is pretty cool to think about taylor is that the water that we're sailing through right now is the whole reason why northern europe is inhabitable right because this warm water travels up there. It's like a, just a gigantic heat pump, so it sucks all the heat from the equator, brings it up the east coast, and then across uh, over to Europe. It's pretty wow. crazy. That's a lot of hot water moving. Yeah. Think about it, because it's like going to take us 10 hours to sail across it. It's, it's like 60 miles wide or something. Yeah, I think so. It's yeah. deep, and it's just moving heat up. 
Well, we're off to a little bit of a rough start, but things have taken a turn for the better, huh, Nugs? You're back to your old tricks. Yeah, the waves have calmed down a lot. So. It's calmed down a lot, hasn't yeah, it? It, feels it was awful back there. It was pretty intense. But now they're kind of organized like they should be in behind us, like they ought to be. Flattened out a little bit. How about you? I'm you doing do grand. You doing pretty good? Yeah. We haven't been catching much fish, but we've been catching lots of seaweed. Yeah. So. Oh, get? it's a big one! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Not again. More seaweed. But it's a good life out here. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Really turned out to be a beautiful afternoon of sailing. Sky cleared up, sun's out. We got about 12 to 15 knots of wind right behind us. The waves have kind of lined up too, so we're no longer rocking and rolling. Look at that. Just cruising downwind style. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Just like that. Chilling in the best seat in the house today. Look at this view. Don't tell mom I'm giving you pieces of a gummy bear. <laughs> Mkaza, you have to come see this. <laughs> you little ham. Yeah. You have a piece of gummy bear? Uh oh, mommy found out our secret. Hmm. I gave a tiny piece, tiny, tiny. So I just decided to leave and then fix everything that needed to be fixed once I got yeah. somewhere warmer. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty rough for a stay here. It was pretty extreme this morning, I'm not gonna lie. Those rolls were like death rolls. Yeah and the nugs wasn't feeling good and you weren't feeling good and I was like, oh no, it's gonna be one of those trips. But then a couple hours later, it's amazing. Yeah. Smooth seas, wind's right behind us, the swells have come down, the baby nugs is feeling good. Wow, it's an incredible night for sailing. The moon's giving us so much light. Look at that. I decided to leave the ballooner out. We're just watching the wind closely, like the first sight of any unsettled weather, squalls, anything. We're gonna yank that bad boy down. <laughs> gotcha. Good morning. Well, the sailing is beautiful. Yeah, it's nice and calm. It's fantastic here. tonight. I thought I could tell you the rules of watch. Yeah. So, uh, number one rule you can wake me up for just about anything, like any doubts. Okay. Uh, number two rule no leaving the cockpit at night without a harness on and tethered to jack lines. Mm -hmm. And then number three rule, no leaving the cockpit at night unless you wake somebody else up, which will probably be me. Right. Because we're not kind of sleep. There's a lot of boats out here, like, mm -hmm. like we were talking about. You know, this is Cuba right here. And so there's a lot of ships coming up through here and, and headed up to the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so there's quite a few around us, but they all seem to be on AIS and they're all pretty big boats. And so I think okay. just like what I we normally say, like do a, you know, radar check every few minutes, maybe a visual horizon scan every 15 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. 
Well, good evening guys. It's my first night watch here on Delos. It's just after 1 a.m. I started my watch at 12. I was pretty tired when I got up. But uh, the sailing conditions are absolutely beautiful tonight. The sky is clear. And we've got a nice little 13 knots of wind cruising along at six and a half knots. So we're doing pretty good. Nothing on the radar. No other boats we were close to us at all. And uh, I've really been enjoying it so far. It's been a beautiful sail. Della is such a solid boat. We've still got our downwind pulls out. Both the sails out. So I'm keeping an eye on uh, the wind speed and making sure it doesn't get too strong. And keeping it within a good angle so that both the sails stay filled. I definitely feel safe and, um, you know, not a, not a worry in the world with this boat. <laughs> it's weird, it's a lot more fun to sail a boat that's not yours. Something about that, it's just more enjoyable. <laughs> Wait, I think that just started recording when I pressed it again. It's recording now. It wasn't before. Then. Yes, it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan? <laughs> well, since you just went over that, uh, basically we need to jibe, but in order to do that we have to take down the other sail. So, safety first, gotta go out on deck. And mm -hmm. then we can get back on course again. Okay, Taylor, you can start easing that sheet. Okay. Doing good. Coming out. Don't worry, pretty soon you'll be qualified to use the electric winches. <laughs> <laughs> For the first sale, everybody's got to grind on Delos. <laughs> That's okay, I'm used to it. <laughs> After so many months of just our little family sailing on Delos, we are getting adjusted to having Taylor on board as crew. Living together in a small sailboat, especially at sea, takes a special kind of person, and it's always a fine balance between personal space and getting to know each other. So far, we are all getting along really well, and having another hand to help take watches and do sail changes was already easing the workload. Next on Delos. It's like the coolest dolphin viewing experience ever. The wind comes up and we have some epic sailing conditions. We got the wind now, boss. Yeah, now we're cruising. We got through the current. Our speed went from like three knots to eight knots, which is amazing. And we set our eyes on Isla Mujeres, Mexico. Oh, land ho! Mexico! Land ho! We are quarantined in the marina until we check in, which means we have absolutely nothing to do except drink margaritas on our boat until we're checked in, which could be two or three days. <laughs> no. 
calm down, Phil. <laughs> I can just hear Grace. Stop pushing the boat, Phil. <laughs> but I want to catch them. <laughs> more. Give me more. more. Low battery. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's the best race in the world. <laughs>